Hey, what's up, John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I wanted to do a video specifically talking about Pluralsight and how how awesome it is, <laughs> and telling you a little bit about my involvement with Pluralsight. A lot of you have been asking about it, and this is one of those things that I feel like I've got to talk about because it is so critical to your success as a developer, or it can be, like learning, having access to these resources. And this is one of those things I've talked about a few times in some videos, and some people have said, oh, that's that's not true. Pluralsight is not the best way to learn stuff. Learning from books is, and I understand you know, the, the argument, and I understand that learning from books can be valuable, but I also understand that with the fast-paced rate that technology changes today and, and how fast that things are happening in the technology space, that sometimes having access to a lot of material that you can quickly absorb something and see someone do it is going to be more valuable than getting the in-depth kind of knowledge that you might get from studying four books on, on a subject. So I want to talk a little bit about Pluralsight. If you don't know what Pluralsight is, go check them out. This is my link to all my Pluralsight courses. I've actually done 55 courses for Pluralsight. Okay, and I haven't done any in a while, but you can check out all my courses from everything from Java to game development. Those are my, my, my favorite ones, by the way, the, the game development ones, to Go and Dart, and I'm trying to think, uh, Lua, just a ton of stuff that, that I've done on Pluralsight. I, I, I'll tell you more about my story, perhaps in another video. If you're, if you're curious, let me know, and I'll tell you my whole Pluralsight story and, and what exactly happened and and how I, I, I did uh, what I did with, with Pluralsight. But, I, but th that's not the point of this video. This video, I really wanna just tell you about Pluralsight itself and what it is, and, and really convince you that if you're a developer, okay, this is such, this is a no-brainer investment for you. You should be getting a Pluralsight subscription if you can afford it. And most of you can afford it because like the basic plan starts at, it's like 30 bucks a month. Ridiculous, ridiculous. So let me tell you why I'm pushing this so hard, okay? And it's not it's not just because I have an affiliate link for Pluralsight. Of course I've got an affiliate link. Why would I not have an affiliate link? But, but it's, because, it's because of this. It's because I spent so much time in my developer career, especially early on, buying books, okay? I still buy a shit ton of books, all right? I buy a ton of audio books every, every month. You guys have, have seen my, my book reviews. But I spent so much time and energy and money on technical books. So I would buy typically two technical books per month, okay? And those technical books would usually cost me 40 to $50 each. So I'd be spending somewhere around, usually around $100 to be honest with you, on, on technical books per month, sometimes more. And then I have to read through these big ass books and I usually wouldn't get a huge amount out of them. So so when I first heard about Pluralsight, I, before I even started authoring for Pluralsight, I was excited because, in fact, the, the biggest, the biggest pro that they gave me when I authored for Pluralsight, before I knew it was gonna blow up, was that I got free access to Pluralsight. I was like, oh shit, this is awesome, right? Because they had, yeah, at that time they didn't even have very many courses. They had a bunch of .NET courses, but not even that many. But now they've got like thousands of courses. They combined with like Digital Tutor, and so they've got all these design courses as well on that side. It's like, it's like I don't even know how many thousands of courses. It's over 3,000 courses at this point, and it's on all kinds of topics. So. Again, the reason why I'm pushing this so hard is because this is just a no-brainer. Because so many of you ask me, they're like, you're like, man, how can I you know, really help myself as a developer? What's the best money I can spend? What's the best tools that I can do? You know, what's the best way? And and I, I again, I know that I'm biased. Like I'm totally acknowledging that I'm biased because of two reasons. Because one, I've I've I'm a Pluralsight author. I've done 55 courses for them. And and two, I've got an affiliate link for Pluralsight. So I'm totally 100% acknowledging that there is some bias here, but I'm also going to tell you that honestly, as objectively as I can say it, this is the best 30 bucks a month that you're gonna spend as a developer, and here's why. The, all those courses, right, you can jump to a section, you can go and watch, like, if you need to suddenly become really good at at some aspect of a, some JavaScript framework, if you really need to know how to do binding in Angular, or you need to know how to start up a Node.js server, or you need to know uh, whatever it is, I mean, even 
I mean, I did courses on stuff like converting, doing cross-platform communication between .NET and Java code. So you could jump to my course on that, and you could jump to a specific spot, and you could figure out exactly how to do that th that quickly. So I mean, there's just a ton of stuff out there that is is available. And rather than spending like a hundred bucks a month or fifty bucks a month on books that you accumulate that are on one subject, having access to three thousand courses that are constantly updated, that are constantly new courses and new technology at your fingertips. I mean, what is that like? You know, three hundred and something dollars a year. I think there's a discount if you do the annual. I would just do the annual, but to have access to all of that information is ridiculous, right? You can look up anytime. I know a lot of you do, uh, do what is it, Safari Books Online, which is awesome. I totally, Safari Books Online I think is awesome as well, but I mean, <laughs> to me, if I had to choose between having access to some books, some of the most popular books at any given time, and having access to video courses on all these subjects, the video courses makes a lot more sense. Yeah, the books is great, because you can search through the books and whatnot, but you're not gonna be reading all those books. I mean, if you're, I don't know what Safari Online costs, but it's like 30 bucks a month. Again, I'm not knocking it. I think it's, it's if you can invest in both, get both, sure. But if you can only choose one, definitely get the plural site, because you're not gonna get as much value out of, you're not gonna be able to read so many books in, in so much time. But with the videos, the fact that you can jump around, that you can be watching videos at night for a couple hours, if you wanna get up to speed on something, that you can find exactly what you're looking for, that makes a lot more sense. They added learning plans. It's all, there's just a ton of value there. I just, you know, <laughs> it just drives me nuts when people are like, oh, you're a shill for Pluralsight. I'm like, well, okay. I am promoting the hell out of them, okay? And the reason why, though, is because they're so damn valuable. So anyway, that's all I'm gonna say about it now. I will talk more about Pluralsight, and I will continue to plug them because they're they're so awesome, and it's just a ridiculous value, but uh, definitely check out uh, Pluralsight if you haven't already. Go sign up here, and, and uh, there, there should be some kind of promotion that I'll, that I'll have uh, from them in, in a little bit that I'll, that I'll do a video on, but. Uh, I would definitely highly recommend at least checking it out if you haven't already. Uh, it's 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 well worth. I think you can do a sign a trial sign up. You might as well do that. And uh, yeah, so that's I mean that's my answer then. So for those of you that are asking like what's the best money that I can spend, that's that's I'm not even promoting my own shit. Okay, and I'll and I'll tell you this like this is okay. Even though I'm biased here with Polarsight, I will say this. Okay. I could easily just promote my own shit as the best value. My shit is not the best value for your money, like best bang for your buck. If you understand what I'm saying when I say bang for your buck, I mean like if you said what's the smallest amount of money that I can get the most amount of value from, I believe my courses and, and stuff are really, really valuable. I, don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying like for 30 bucks a month, <laughs> Like that, you should be spending that money first. Get the Pluralsight subscription and sign up there. I get I get a, a lot less money when you sign up for Pluralsight than I do when you buy one of my courses. So it's it's not based on that. It's just based on honestly what what I think would be the best bang for your buck. So there you have it. That's it. This video was 100% entirely based on the idea of plugging Pluralsight because I think it's fucking valuable and you should sign up for it. So go do it. Click over there. Sign up for Pluralsight. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.